All right. Oh, that was about. Anyway, so I know it's been a little bit since I uh, did this video. I actually plan on doing it sooner. Let me see how long it's been. It's probably been about, about a little bit, little, a little bit over a week, I believe. Yeah, it was a week ago that I uploaded the last Storm Chasers video, and I got 31 views, which wasn't bad. So you guys seem to like it a little bit, maybe. You're just putting three lights. Uh, that, that's that's a record, honestly. So I decided I'm I planned on doing this sooner. I was gonna make another Storm Chasers video, like two days after that one came out. But I, 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 time, you know, <laughs> just busy with so much uh, video games, you know. Yeah, yeah. Even found time to stream farming simulator. You know, you know how you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. No one commented if they wanted to see multiplayer or single player, so we're going to go with some more single player missions for today. And we're going to check it out. Right about now. We're going to try missions not free roaming yet. If you do want to see free roaming, comment, and I'll play free roaming. But today, I think we'll check out number three. Alright, a pretty big storm is forming above a small town. I expect high precipitation, so high wind, high rain, lots of rain, and strong winds. Our objective is 7 minutes. Score more than 500 points and place a probe in the path of a twister. It's morning, heavy rain, we have one probe, car is available, car damage is off, and car fuel is off. Okay, so I know I don't really know anything about placing all the probes or anything, but we might as well start now. I can't speak. Precipitation shafts are pretty dangerous to add possible tornadoes, but also prepare for high precipitation. Huh, good to know. If this does take a while, I'm just going to cut back into it. Alright, that actually did take quite a while. To load in, but here we are. Right, so I'm guessing this is our probe in the back. Or this is like that Twister movie, you know? <laughs> tornado warning to the east end position. So that's the, that's the tornado down there. Oh boy. Starting to form right above us. So I think I'm thinking correctly. Tornado is going to be coming straight through here. Okay, so we need to get out, get out, get out, get out. How do I place the print? Or do I just leave the truck? Take a probe. I think, honestly, maybe if we. Ooh, you can see that time. You can see that tornado right there. I think, honestly, if we just place it right here, this would be good. Ooh, that hail. That hurts. Get the truck, get the truck. Get 
try to get out of the rift. <laughs> oh, this game's got everything, dude. I'm gonna get some more photos for the Weather Channel. What just hit me? This getting hit like a truck, dude. I'm trying to think our best bet to get ahead of it. Good pictures at this distance. I don't want to get any closer. Okay, it's actually a strong weakness. We can move closer. Don't tell me. Don't. Are you kidding me? It's stuck again. Maybe we shouldn't stop out in the middle of the field, you know? Okay, come on, keep going. Move. Go, go. Get on this road over here. Yep, uh, I, I I see it. Don't ever do this. Okay. Don't ever drive towards the tornado. I think we may need to do it again, yeah. Well, we didn't do too bad. Oh, man. We got 862. Huh. Well, <laughs> end the video here. Do it again. We'll do it again. We ain't just leaving it there. Okay, so we know the path that the twister went. I don't know if it stays the same. So I'm thinking maybe if we place it ne like next to that house that it just completely took, maybe that might be a good spot. But I may need to leave it in the open so it doesn't cover by debris. 
Huh. I have an idea. <laughs> Let's just leave the truck in the middle. Leave the truck and be done. I don't know. I think I, I, think I made another good, good spot to put it. Anyway, I'll um, let you know when we're back. Alright. Here we go. Seven minutes on the clock. One truck, one bird. Okay, so I'm thinking. So we put it on the side of that road next to the town station. Sort of in the town station area. I'm thinking maybe we put it behind the house or we put it in the center of the town where it actually really did. Maybe where it's green right now, the bottom part, if I get there fast, I can put it there. That's what we're going to try. I don't know if do it, but... Place is in it. We need to just hurry up. And I'm leaving the tail though. Okay, it's stuck. It's starting to hail. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Thank you. 
Winters there. I don't think I can get in the back of the truck. That's alright. Don't need any more good pictures with all the points we needed. So we can just let the time run out. Or we can have some fun. If I have some fun, I mean drive right towards the tornado. Get that sign back there. Here. Oh, another chair. Out here. Now we drive on home with our probe. We got all the information we need. We did pretty great. I mean, we we're 2,000. Was that the same amount of points I got last time? <laughs> I think it may have been. <laughs> huh. Well. Should we do another? I think it might be a pretty, I think it might be like a 10 minute video, which isn't bad. We'll read about this one real quick, and then we'll decide on whether I should do it or not. A large supercell is forming near a small weight. Yeah. A large supercell is forming near a small town. Do not let the night prevent you from capturing good photos of possible tornadoes. Store more than 400 points and fill up the fuel tank with your car. Car damage is on. <laughs> that ain't good. I think we'll save that for next video. But for right now, we're going to try out some free roaming. Just feel the power. Afternoon. Okay, I'll come back whenever this is started up. Okay. In free roaming, you'll have to upgrade your equipment one by one. Use your laptop to buy better gear in the shop tab. Remember that to earn money, you'll have to upload the pictures and data to your computers. You also have to manage the battery of your camera or charging it with your laptop when needed. Huh. So it's literally like you go out and you find these tornadoes. Isn't that my... Is that supposed to be my house? Is this not where I want to start a tornado? This is my house. I think we're going to rip it through the center of town. And, uh, there. Oh, maybe I should have put it by the windmills. That, that would have been... Oh boy. Let's take this car 
car. I don't believe there is venture. 
But when it's a video game, you can always make a bit more. Take out these street lights and they turn the lights off. Let's test it. There's a street light right there. So that's what that is. We're taking out the street lights and doing a big flash explosion. We can go to an EF5 now. I think we'll wait until daytime to do the EF5. We're, we're coming back into light now. You can just see how massive this tornado is. Devastation will go with that one, sounds better. Everything in its path is just destroyed. Stop tornado. We're gonna let that tornado. 
There's no town anymore. If you were over here, everything's gone. If you were down this way, everything's gone. Down that way, there's a couple houses left, but there ain't much. If you were over here, though, you got real lucky. These two houses right here, barely gone. Most of them's gone, actually. These two. <coughs> Nothing basically. Still leaving up their fence in the ground. And these last four are perfectly fine. Yeah, there's some debris from the other people's houses. But otherwise, they're A OK. Now we're gonna go over to the windmill. Which I don't know where I think they're over this direction. Yeah, you can see them in the corner. And we're gonna start a tornado over here at the windmill. Windmills. I don't honestly think that's what they call this windmill. Man, the debris goes for quite a distance. There's even debris out here. Jeez. We're gonna start this tornado right on this one. We're going to start it as an EF0, but we're going to upgrade it. So, so see, it ain't doing too much. It's maybe a, affecting the, the, like, I guess, propellers, or whatever they call it. It's affecting them a little bit, but what about an EF5? Should we just go straight to it? We'll work our way. We'll work our way. EF1. Let's take it a second. You can see it getting bigger, actually. Now EF2. You can see the bottom one. They're getting a thicker black collar from all the dirt and dust is picking up. And it's getting wider up there. Look how fast this one's going compared to any of the others. Three. Two. Compared to this one back here, look how look at the speed. It's not supposed to be doing that fast. We go to four now. Must be pretty strong. Oh, there went to my brother. It's still on the ground, but I'll tell you that. Let's see if a five can pick it up out of the ground. I don't know. We're gonna try. He picked up some sort of Maybe a piece of metal out of the ground. I don't believe a five can pick it up. It's in there good. Let's just start heading over to other ones. Can't want this one to survive. 
Oh boy. That was fun. back down to zero there I'm gonna stop it. Okay there we go. Now where did this propeller go? It went this direction. It couldn't have gone that far. This is like the wall the border. Edge of the map. Huh. You can see these two just have something that none, none of the others have. Or they're missing something on there. They're missing. This one over here, though. That one launched quite a distance. That's well, definitely think that a tornado would win in like the discus throwing competition at the Olympics. Yeah. Huh. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. You can, you can see the little bit of tornado line that we created in the right there. Huh. I'm going to end the video here. I hope I'm able to upload it quick. But yeah, that was one mission and a little bit of free mode. Guess you just summon in tornadoes. I don't know if you're able to get down on the ground and drive around or not. But hey. Yeah, anyway. Then that's the end. And I'll see you guys in the next one.